Good morning. This morning, I'm going to try and uh, assist where I can for ICT 3611. Uh, this is the um, October November exam paper. Um, they've basically, they've asked us to uh, write down some code on how to use a function called word count in another function called appearance of word and then another function called frequency of word okay so what i've done here is i've created a simple form just to show you uh show you some of the functions and how I, i've got them to work um at the moment i've got the two the three labels up here and one browse button and i've added a text box over here and then I've created the three labels which will show some of the results. There is a flaw with one of my solutions in that uh, uh, word occurrences seems to miss a word uh, if it's repeated too often. I'm not too sure why that is, but uh, it'll be good if somebody can fix that snippet of code. And anyway, let's go and have a look at it. So the question says, this question is about the word count feature found in text editors. This feature is useful to users of text editors. You are required to write three functions to implement this feature of a text editor. The functions are word count, appearance of word, and frequency of word. The functions are specified below. Please plan your answers carefully before you start writing down the code. In the first one says, write a function word count, which accepts a file name as a parameter and returns an integer. The function will read the lines from the file and counts the total number of words in the file. You may assume that the file exists. If the file is empty, return zero. Alright, so first of all, if I go to browse, what I've done here is I've declared, uh, let me see if I can zoom in because I know people say the code is too small. Um, yeah, what I've done over here is I've created a form, I've used the import system IO namespace, okay, and I've, I've created a directory called CUNISA RCT3611. And then this question two that I'm busy tackling. And I've also specified a file. So that's uh, what the file name is that I've given it. And then I've specified the full file path. And I've just called it file name. And then that will add these two together so that I get one result. What I've done is I've just said test these, uh, test that the directory exists, test that the file exists. Um, and if the file exists, then I know the directory exists. Um, and so I've just uh, created the labels so that you can see the contents of the file. Um, as you can see for my first option, my first function, word count, which is 2.1, it says there that uh, write a function which accepts a file name as a parameter. So there we go. I've this is my accepting the uh, file name as a parameter, okay? And it's because it's a string, I'm specifying it by val, uh, the, the name, and then as a string. And it's asked us to return as an integer. So it says returns an integer. So here I've got returning as an integer. So in my inside of my function, I've decided to go a slightly longer route. I'm listing um, all the words. I'm taking the full string of words out of the file, okay? And I'm also declaring the split and what the split would be. And then I've also declared um, the num of word as integer because this is what I want to return uh, through my function, okay? So the first thing says, my all words is a string. So I'm saying all words is equal to the system IO file, read all the text 
that appears in the file name. And because this is being passed here, I can use that. All right. And then I then say split equals uh, this uh, what's the parameter uh, dot split, which is a, a function of a um, of a of a file a file splitting function. Um, and then I've said it must use the uh, it must use a space it must split the the words with a space. Then I've said uh, it must use the number of words. It must count the number of words by using the number of splits. Okay, and so that's what uh, this basically does. And I've lo I've tested this, and uh, I found that if you have a file that's got uh, um, maybe empty four empty lines in it it would return return a, a one as a number of things because I'm using the split the split count um, I think there's another way that you could actually use it I would use something like uh, end of file but I can't remember the end of file command for um, for this because then I would I would actually just say all words dot in the file or something like that but anyway this does return the correct value and you can see what happens is it passes it here to label word count and it, uh, basically there I've got my uh, calling my function word count and I'm passing the file name which is from here as a parameter which is a string parameter that I'm passing to there okay so that answers 2.1 and in a way it should uh, return exactly the answers that they're looking for but I'd be interested to get hold of Eunice's uh, answers to this because I think that they would have used the end of file and said that if the end of file is, uh, is greater than zero then return a file uh, return the number of words but if not then return a zero um, so this is just a workaround method that I've come up with. The next function they said write a function appearance of word which accepts a file name and a word as parameters and returns an integer. The function counts the number of times a word appears in the file. So again all that I've done is I've declared the file name and I've declared the word. Okay. And they're both as string, and it will return it as an integer. Okay, and it says here I'm using the same parameters that I, I did over here dim all words, okay, and then dim number of uh, current number, number occurrences of word as integer, and I've set that to zero. Then it reads, uh, it reads that all of the words in that uh, file. And then what I've done is I've used a for each loop because a for each loop is what you use if you're dealing with strings. And I've said for each word in all words dot split, and then I've specified what character is the splitting character. If the word equals if word equals the word, so uh, this was the original word over here. And then because this is passed as the word, I've said if, if that word matches what is being passed, then it must add the occurrences plus one. And then it must return the number of occurrences. Okay. So this function, I find that I've got four the in, the, um, in this actual file name, and it only returns three. So I think there's something... Something uh, it's not working well with this uh, all files or else it's the split that's causing a problem. Yet again, I would love to see what you need to have used. But this this is uh, it works for all single instances of words. But once you start uh, with the four instances, it's not working. Okay, then 
there's another function here called frequency of word, which is 2.3. It says use the functions in 1 and 2 to write the frequency of word function. The word frequency is the number of times a word appears in the file divided by the total number of words in the file. Now what happened was I found that if I had left this as an integer, then the value would always be 0. So I've changed this to be as double because I wanted to represent decimal places. And so what I've declared here is that all the words as a string, and then I've loaded all the words from the file, which is being passed through this parameter. And then I've said dim the frequency as double, because that's what I want to return to the person. And then I'm using, making use, because it said here, um, use the functions in 1 and 2 to write frequency of word functions. So I've used them. So I've said frequency equals, and then appearance of word, which is this one over here. And I've passed the exact the file name and the word from here. So it's feeding it into here, divided by the word count, which is uh, what we're getting the value over here. So that is making use of those two functions to uh, generate the answer for frequency of word. And then I've said return the frequency. So when I execute this, get a little box like this. When I click on browse, it loads the file in. You can see there it's got the directory, there it's got the file. And this is the full file path. And then this is the this is the all the words that I've got in it. And as I as I can as I was telling you, if you count the you can see there's one, two, three, four. But yet, in this instance, it's saying that there's only three uh, appearing, which is problematic. I don't know why, because I'm using what I understand to be loading all the words in the, um, in the system. So I'm not sure what is causing it. But the, the number of words, 26, I, I believe that should be correct. Um, so if these two values are correct, then this decimal value will appear over here. So thank you for watching this. Um, I hope that it is helpful in identifying some of the things that you can use to get the values or the options for question 2 of the um, October-November 2016 exam paper. Best of luck and all the best. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.